uh, Siddharth Purohit, Senior Equity Research Analyst, Banking at Angel Broking is now joining us from Mumbai. Siddharth, thank you very much for being with us here on NDTV Profit. Good to have you on the show today. Couple of banks which have reported earnings. Let's start with Yes Bank first. How do you view the numbers? Uh, see, Yes Bank has uh, delivered good set of results uh, for this quarter and uh, Though uh, there was uh, some amount of uh, increase in gross NPA, but uh, uh, somehow that has uh, really not resulted in any uh, sort of uh, disappointment in the earnings. And uh, one of the best part is that despite challenging micro environment, uh, Yes Bank has maintained their asset quality quite stable. Though there was some uh, 10, uh, 15 basis point kind of increase in the gross NP level, we don't see that as a point of worry. So far, the core operations of the bank has been quite decent, and we believe that uh, they have the potential to continue to deliver. 25% kind of growth uh, uh, going ahead on the balance sheet side. You know, that little rise in the uh, uh, in number of NPAs that we've seen for Yes Bank, do you think that is a cause of concern right now? And how are you factoring in in terms of the target for Yes Bank ahead? Uh, see, we are not expecting uh, material change in the asset quality as of now, as far as I mean, uh, your gross NP is concerned. And uh, the bank already has uh, quite uh, higher PCR as far as I mean, uh, your provision coverage ratio is concerned. So we already have factored in quite uh, high uh, provisions for the next two years. Uh, having said that, what we believe is that uh, the stock has seen quite uh, a good amount of run up in the last uh, one quarter. Uh, and we believe that, you know, already it is uh, trading at a fair valuation. So we believe that despite uh, good performance, we might see the stock uh, being in a range bound uh, man in the, uh, till next one quarter's time compared to other private sector banks uh, for the time being. Okay. Um, talking about Access Bank now, uh, you know, this big watch list that they have come out with of about uh, assets worth 22,600 crore rupees. How concerned are you post that uh, uh, commentary that came in from the management? Uh, see, uh, Axis come out with a slight decline in the uh, profitability for this quarter. Uh, but the biggest development I would say is that the disclosure that the management has come out with. Uh, the management has uh, said uh, almost 22,600 crores of asset uh, are kind of in, in trouble out of which uh, almost 60% can fall into NPA over the next eight quarters. Now what uh, the management intends to uh, say is that uh, this is the quantum of loan that is uh, uh, susceptible to uh, kind of you know risk of falling into NPA and and a large part of uh, uh, this uh, I would say is from the steel and power sector uh, which uh, already are in trouble. However, what I appreciate is that you know management has come out uh, clearly and said that this is the quantum of load that we need to watch out and we don't intend to see much of NPA other than uh, uh, from this account from the corporate side. Uh, so. Uh, based on our calculation, we believe that if 60% of this uh, total uh, account falls into NPA, that works out to somewhere close to 13,500 crores uh, kind of, you know, NPA accretion over the next two years. And the management also has reiterated that uh, possibly they intend to maintain a 70% PCR going ahead. So we might see uh, incremental provisioning, uh, provisioning of close to 9,500 crores over the next uh, two years from this account itself. Uh, having said that, I would say that uh, Apart from this uh, corporate uh, loan books, we don't see uh, major deterioration in the asset quality from the retail side, uh, though there could be some marginal blip. So we are already factoring in uh, quite uh, higher provisions for FI 17 and 18, and that's why uh, we are not expecting a bottom line growth to come in in FI uh, 17 per se. So we we believe that uh, possibly it will be flat, more or less flat for FI 17. But once these accounts are recognized, uh, the management would be more confident of growing the balance sheet and possibly we'll see that uh, earnings could bounce back. So FI17 should be a difficult year for the uh, bank uh, particular. This gives clarity what was uh, needed and we don't see negative outcome as such. Rather we would uh, take it in a positive note. Uh, uh, we believe that you know FI18 much more uh, uh, earnings trajectory picking up the, for the bank. All right, so for Access Bank, FI17 should be a difficult year and earnings trajectory should pick up from FI18. What's the target for Access Bank? 
Axis Bank, we still have a accumulate rating and we have a uh, target price of 494 and possibly we'll revisit after a couple of quarters when if more clarity comes if on the macro front. But as of now, we have an accumulate rating on the stock with a target price of 494. Okay, let's also talk about HDFC Bank and uh, what is the outlook going forward from here? Uh, see, SDFC has been the most cons I mean, uh, consistent performer as far as your loan growth is concerned or earnings growth is concerned. And despite uh, being uh, I mean, such a huge uh, balance sheet, they have been able to deliver almost 27% loan growth this quarter. And we believe that uh, the bank can continue to grow their balance sheet by almost 25% going ahead. And uh, earnings could also uh, grow more than 20% going ahead. Uh, so far as their asset quality is concerned, if you observe, uh, during this quarter when a lot of banks are seeing uh, like, you know, uh, stress on their balance sheet as far as, I mean, your gross NPA is concerned, SDFC has rather improved uh, a bit on that. And uh, since a large part of their book is still, uh, the growth is coming from the retail side, we are not really bothered about their uh, asset quality going ahead. And we believe that they will continue to maintain gross NPA uh, below 1% going ahead also. Okay. And uh, uh, the bank continues to trade at a premium compared to any other bank. And we believe that uh, they will sustain this premium valuation. So we don't have, we don't raise any red flag as of now. And we believe that uh, SDFC Bank uh, could continue to outperform going ahead and uh, we still have a uh, like you know positive stand on the uh, uh, stock performance going ahead and we maintain a target price of uh, uh, 1262 on the stock okay uh, also uh, a view on the public sector banks and what is the cue that you've got from the numbers that have come out so far from the entire banking universe uh, uh, how much uh, of a positive or a negative surprise are we likely to see uh, from the big public sector banks <laughs> Uh, see, uh, as of now, we are yet to see any results from the uh, PSU uh, space, but we believe that PSU uh, numbers could be really uh, challenging uh, this quarter again. Uh, though some banks had uh, recognized a lot of AQR accounts in the Q3, uh, large, uh, bigger banks also are yet to recognize, and that should reflect in the earnings uh, in this quarter. So we are really not positive on the PSU space as of now. We would uh, rather avoid them uh, till more clarity comes, and uh, we believe that uh, when uh, uh, well-managed uh, banks like Axis also are having, I mean, troubled in their asset quality, then we believe that uh, PSU banks uh, might have uh, more troubles going ahead. Uh, we don't expect uh, good numbers uh, coming out from PSU PAC uh, for this quarter and for FI17 also. But we would like to see, I mean, the, how the numbers pan out uh, when they are declared in the, this quarter. So clearly, we don't have a, a very positive view on the. Uh, PSU space as of now and we continue to like uh, private banks rather on a uh, uh, comparative basis. All right, Siddharth, thank you very much for joining us here on NDTV Profit and sharing with us your thoughts on the entire banking universe. So you like uh, public, uh, private sector banks but not very confident about the public sector banks right now.